Hi, friends. I can't find my favorite stuffed lion anywhere. I'm worried I lost it forever. Whee! Oh. Hi, Marty. Hiya, friends. Uh-oh. Marty, what's wrong? Shine, I lost my favorite stuffed lion. I can't find it anywhere. Have you prayed to ask God for help? I didn't. I was too busy looking. Huh. That makes me think of a question. When can I pray? Let's go on a Bible adventure to find the answer. Great idea. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, pretend to put on your adventure bags. I'm all set. Shine, do you have some picture passes that can help us? Sure do. Let's take a look. Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. This animal is big and roars really loud. Huh. Friends, which picture pass is it? <laughs> Great job, friends. It's the lion. Catch it in your adventure bag. Shine, that lion reminds me of my stuffed lion. I'm so sad I lost it. I'm sorry, Marty. I hope you find it soon. How about another clue? Okay, that might make me feel better. All right. This helps you talk with someone when you can't see them. Friends, which one is it? <laughs> You're right, friends. It's the phone. Catch it in your adventure bag. Now for your last clue. This shows us what time it is. Friends, which picture pass is Shine talking about? <laughs> you got it! It's the clock. <laughs> Clocks are fun. A clock helps me see when it's time to eat. More time to go to bed. Catch it in your adventure bag. Friends, count with me. One, two, three. <laughs> yep, they're all here. <laughs> now, let's zip our adventure bag together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! <laughs> all right, Shine. How can a lion, a phone, and a clock help us answer the question, when can I pray? Let's look in the Bible. It's a great place to start. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. A roaring rescue. This story is from the book of Daniel in the Bible. It's all about when you should pray. Oh, I can't wait to see. Friends, let's watch together. God's people disobeyed him. So he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews to their own country, Babylon. Daniel was one of the Jews in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked, but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lions' mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. At daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me, Daniel said. 
The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. Then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions gobbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. Wow, Daniel loved talking with God so much, he prayed every day. And God always listened to Daniel, even in the lion's den. But I still don't know the answer to my question. When can I pray? <gasps> Maybe Brit the Bible gal can help. That sounds like a great idea. See you later, Marty. Bye, Shine. Come on. <gasps> Hi, Britt. Hi, Marty. Hi, friends. It's so good to see you. What are you up to? I'm on a Bible adventure. I'm looking for the answer to the question, when can I pray? Oh. I know the answer. I can pray all night, all day. I can pray all night, all day. <laughs> you got it. Maybe that answer can help me find my stuffed lion. I lost it. Oh no, I know I would be so sad if I lost my Bible bear, but maybe your picture passes can help. Let's have a look. All right, here they are. Friends. Which picture pass is a big animal that roars really loud? Way to go, friends! It's the lion! The lion makes me miss my stuffed lion. I'm sorry, Marty, but the lion can also remind us of Daniel's story in the Bible. He prayed even in the scary lion's den. Oh yeah, Daniel never stopped praying. Hey! I know a verse about that. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Listen to what the Bible says. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Never, never, never stop praying. Friends, say the verse with me. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Never, 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 never stop praying. Never stop praying. That's it, friends. <laughs> now say the whole verse with us. First Thessalonians 5, 17. Never, never, never stop praying. Friends, you got it. Thanks, Britt. That first reminds me I can pray for God's help and look for my lost lion at the same time. That's right. And don't forget what God says in my favorite book, the Bible. Never stop praying. Bye, Marty. Bye, friends. Bye, Britt. Come on, friends. <gasps> ah, time to finally do some reading. Mr. Stone, oh, Mr. Stone. What is it, Blinky? I have a question. How old is God? Uh, well, God doesn't have an age. Oh, okay, thanks. Now, time to finally do some reading. Uh, Mr. Stone, Mr. Stone, oh. Blinky, what is it now? You want to hear about the bug I found today? Zinnia and I were playing by the river and Blinky, it's a little late. Why don't you tell me about that story in the morning? Sure thing. I'll tell you all about it first thing tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, also, I was wondering... Where are all of these questions coming from? Oh, these are all things I wanted to talk to God about. So, why aren't you talking to him? Because it's too late. I don't want to bother God if he's trying to sleep. Blinky, any time is a good time to talk to God. He's always listening, day and night. You can use prayer to tell him about your day, or ask questions, or anything. Wait, really? Are you serious? I'm really serious. That's super de duper. God, Blinky here. 
You know, I've been thinking. Blinky. Hmm? It's time to be in bed. You can keep praying, just pray there. Oh, sure. God, it's really amazing that you're always here for me and listening. Thank you. So, I found this huge bug, Lazini and I. Now, it's really, actually, finally time to do some reading. Hi, friends. I asked God to help me find my stuffed lion. I'm so glad Britt helped us answer the question, when can I pray? Friends, say the answer with me. I can pray all night, all day. <laughs> that makes me think of Daniel in this scary lion's den. He never stopped praying. He loved talking to God so much, he prayed all the time. And God always listened. Friends, that reminds me of the Bible verse Brit taught us. Let's say it together. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Never, never, never stop praying. Roaring rhinos, that sounds like Mr. Music. I wonder if he knows a song about praying. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey there, Marty. Hi, friends. <laughs> hey, Mr. Music. Are you on another Bible adventure? Yep, and we already found the answer to the question, when can I pray? I know the answer. Friends, say it with me. I can pray all night, all day. <laughs> That's right. When we talk to God, he always listens. Hey, that reminds me of one of our picture passes. Friends, which picture pass helps you talk with someone when you can't see them? friends? It's the phone! Praying is talking to God. And even when you can't see him, God always listens to you. You don't even need a phone to talk to him. God always listens to your prayer, anytime and anywhere. Wow. I wonder who it is. Hello? Hi, Marty. Hi, Mr. Music. Hi, Hi Britt. Maybe I did. Let me look around. <gasps> it's here! It's here! Yay! I knew God would help you find it. God listened to my prayer! Thanks, Brit! Happy to help! Bye, Marty! Bye, Mr. Music! Bye, Brit! Marty, let's celebrate with a song about praying to God! Yes, let's do it! Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Friends, we're gonna start with something really fun. We're gonna sing with a whisper and get louder and louder. Friends, sing with me. I can talk to God. 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 A little louder. I can talk to God. I can talk to God. Louder! I can, I can talk, talk to, to God. God. And listen. Listen, listen to, to his voice. <laughs> wow. You guys sound great. Repeat after me. When I'm at my home. When I'm at my home. When I'm in my bed. When I'm in my bed. When I'm in my car. When I'm in my car. Anywhere I go. Anywhere I go, I can talk to God. I can talk to God. I can talk to God and listen to His voice. I can talk to God. I can talk to God. I can talk to God and listen. Listen to His voice. Wow, it's so true. <laughs> Repeat after me. When I'm at my school. When I'm at my school. When I'm at the store. When I'm at the store. When I'm at the park. When I'm at the park. Anywhere I go. Anywhere I go. 
I can talk to God. I can talk to God. I can talk, talk to God. And listen to his voice. I can talk to God. I can talk to God. I can talk to God. And listen. Listen to his voice. Now whisper. I can talk to God. 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 A bit louder. I can talk to God. I can talk to God. Louder. I can talk to God. And listen. Listen to his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, friends. Now stand to your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing.
<laughs> Friends, I think I heard Shine. Did you hear him too? Wee! Hi, Marty. There you are, Shine. We've been on a great Bible adventure. Did you find the answer to the question, when can I pray? I sure did. Friends, say it with me. I can pray all night, all day. That's the answer. Great job. And did Britt teach you a Bible verse? Yep. Friends, let's say it for shine. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Never, never, never stop praying. We can always pray to God. What did you find out about the picture passes? Ooh. The lion picture pass reminds us of the Bible story about Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel loved to talk to God, so he prayed every day. We can pray to God to show him that we love him too. Wait a minute, where's the phone? Oops, I forgot to put it back. The phone picture pass reminds us that we can talk with God even when we can't see him. That's right. God wants to talk with you because he loves you. God always listens to your prayer, anytime and anywhere. But what about the clock? How does that help us? A clock shows us what time it is. Right. And Jesus prayed all the time. When you follow Jesus, he helps you pray any time of the day. I got it. No matter what time it is, Jesus helps us pray morning, noon, and night. Marty, did you find your stuffed lion? I did. Look, I prayed and God helped me find it. Yay, God loves to listen to our prayers. Now, let's pray that our friends remember how special prayer can be. Friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Dear God, Thank you for always listening. Please help us talk with you anytime and anywhere. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. It's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye, friends. Bye.